Hi, I'm joined by Andrew from the Asus ROG team. Andrew, you've got a couple of motherboards here that are going to be out in time, well, well ahead of Intel's Ivory Bridge launch. So these are based on the Z77 chipset. These are obviously going to be hugely appealing to enthusiast gamers. They're the ROG line, so they're the top of the range. Talk us through some of the features on these two boards. Okay, firstly, let me introduce our Mini ATX, Mini ATX board, Maximus 5. Gene motherboards, and as you can see here, this is a mini ATX size, and uh, but uh, this smaller size doesn't uh, we we doesn't compromise to its size. It also has a lot of features like uh, we have a uh, multiple VGU uh, GPU support, excuse me, and we have a new audio solution like a uh, Supreme F FX3. It actually will give you a red line here and uh, this red line actually cuts your PCB into two areas to offer to actually isolate the audio signals from the digital signals and we have a lot of I think the most uh, noticeable features would be this this Elon cars as you can see here we bundle this oh this car mini PCIe combo cars it has two ports at each side and one will give you this mini PCIe uh, uh, like uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth support, and it, from, on the other end, it, we will offer you this possibility to use the MSATA, which you can do the, the Intel Smart Response Technologies. This is all, this is all about uh, our uh, Maximus 5 gym boards, and uh, talking about ATX board, Maximus 5 formula boards, as you can see here, we have a very big thermal here. This is the, the key features we have on these motherboards. And actually, the idea is from our, our previous feature, which they called the uh, Fusion Block. And uh, from, it's, uh, from these new solutions, actually, the, the secret about these new thermals is we have two pipes underneath this heat sink. One pipe is just like a traditional heat pipe. It will help you to handle all the air coolant. And there's uh, the other pipe is acting like a uh, the water channels, when you are connected to a very high efficient uh, liquid coolant, you can connect to this uh, nozzles and uh, you can leverage the, the high efficiency of your liquid coolant. This is the most uh, 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 important feature we have on this motherboard. It also has this mini PCIe combo card. So on, this, on this board, there's uh, only the empty PCB, and uh, for this board, we will bundle uh, 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 Bluetooth modules on it. And we will also introduce our new audio solutions, the fourth generation of Supreme FX. And here, because we, we haven't decided which audio's capacitor to go, so we, we have it covered here. And uh, you will see this product, product very soon at the end of April for this Formula Boss. Uh, okay, Andrew, so these are the two top-end boards. How much can we expect to pay for these two models? Oh, actually, the pricing varies from country to country, so I'm not going to give you any information about price. What about yeah. US dollars? Any guideline? Uh, I, I, I would say this Jimbo will be very similar to the pre its previous, previous version. Okay. For Moria, it may be a little bit different. Okay. Those are the new ROG motherboards coming soon. We'll have a review on one of these on Hexus, so stay tuned for that. Thank you.